Hey, y'all, Miss Coors Light from Talladega with Jeff Gordon. It's got to be a good feeling going into it to tomorrow, starting on the pole. Tell us about qualifying today. Yeah, no, it feels really, really good. I mean, the team just works so hard for, for these types of qualifying efforts, and it all is on them. For me, it, you know, my job is just get it up through the gears. Other than that, it's all about what they did to it. And obviously, um, this whole year on restricted play tracks, uh, they have been phenomenal. A huge amount of credit goes to the team. And you're going into a must-win situation, so how does it feel going into that tomorrow? Do you feel good about your car? You obviously have a very fast one, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we have a fast car. We really had a very strong car here in May. I you know, kind of ran too fast getting onto pit road uh, and, and ruined our whole day, and we never recovered from it here in May. So you know, hopefully we learn from that mistake. I do. And uh, we can take this fast car and, and you know, go out there and keep it up front all day. Awesome. Well, our last question comes from a Twitter fan. His name's Chevelle. He wants to know what your take is. You're starting from the pole. What your take is on the green-white checkered flag rule change this weekend? Well, you know, if I'm on the outside of the sport looking in as a fan, I want to see it end under green, and I want to see as many green-white checkers as possible. But when you're, you know, sitting where I'm sitting, it's just too risky. Um, you know, it, it, we've seen some really bad wrecks happen on those green-white checkers. So I think it's, I think it's the right thing to do to do one. Um, you know, I, we certainly all want to see it end under green, but but uh, we also don't want to see multiple crashes happening over and over. Absolutely. Well, good luck. Jeff Gordon starting on the pole, looking to win in advance tomorrow in Talladega.